Do you see that broom in the background? Uh, nah. All right, let's do this. Okay, so I spent a couple hundred dollars at Sephora a couple times and it's all fitting into this bag because this is gonna be a Sephora haul for travel size makeup ish kind of i i bought some things that weren't travel size but we're just gonna move on from there i am going on a trip in july next month in a few weeks oh my god and i am trying to pack carry on only and it's really not working out for me and i'm really sad if his collar jingles the whole time i super apologize i am still going to try to pack travel size only makeup because I overpack everything and especially makeup and skincare. Those are my two like big things. Like it, it gets out of hand very, 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 very quickly. I'm going to try and do better. And then maybe if I can keep a makeup bag packed every time I travel, I don't have to worry about that because I know that I'm already going to have those things in a bag and I can just grab the bag, throw it in my suitcase, whichever one I'm taking and hit the road uh, because I don't need clothes or underwear or anything like that. <laughs> this bag is literally full all the way to the top of stuff. Um, I've got a couple gift sets in here and then a lot of samples. I don't know why I have so many samples. I think I used a bunch of points online and then in the store they just gave me a ton. Thank you for that. Okay, I'm talking way too much. Let's get into this because it's gonna take us quite a while. Okay, let's just go ahead and start with these gift sets to get them out of the way and then I can actually start packing while I'm doing this because um, I have already started packing for our trip. Okay, so this is the Sun Kissed Glow set and it comes in this really cute yellow bag. Um, this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different products. Most of them are travel size, but there is one size one full size product in here. Um, Artist Couture, Becca, Charlotte Tilbury, Fenty, Laura Mercier, Marc Jacobs, Sephora Collection, and Tarte. This is like a favorites bag and they just pick and choose what their favorites are. Um, and then they put a bunch of minis in this bag. So I'm excited to try this. I really love the bag that it came in. That's probably the real reason that I bought it, but the products inside are actually really good too. So this is a Fenty bronzer and it is a little dark for me. I will go ahead and say that, but hopefully I will be a little bit more tanned. I did get a self tanning product that I'm gonna try out um, in another box. So I'm excited to do that. Um, that was the Fenty bronzer. This is uh, the tiniest little Becca highlighter and it's not opal. This is vanilla quartz. So cute. Then I have an, another highlighter. This is a mini artist couture in Connected. Waiting on them. Okay, this is a mini Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. And I don't know if there is something in mine or if they scrape the side. Um, I'm just gonna assume that the side was scraped and that's why there is a mark on mine, but hopefully it's not like a thread or needle or anything like that, but I don't, you probably cannot see it. I can't reach that far. Oh, you can see it. You see that right there, that that black line through the Marc Jacobs? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, I'm still gonna use it, <laughs> so you were wondering oh my god okay um next thing is this is actually a lip ultra shine lip gel from sephora i will not use this so this is gonna go into my little bag for my friend ashley this is a mini laura mercier translucent glow powder it says translucent loose setting powder in glow so i think this is a highlighter i don't think this is just like the regular setting powder but i probably am gonna try it out before i go because i don't know how much i will use this if it is a glow powder then i have the tarte rainforest of the sea sea glass and this is actually a uh an eyeshadow and it is super pretty and i think that this is going to go really well with the next eye products that i have in here babe Shh. and then this is 
Oh, this is interesting. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon Champagne Diamonds eye pencil and it says for blue eyes. Uh, I definitely don't have blue eyes. I have green, sometimes hazel if you're being crazy. It's very pretty. I still think that I can use this like on the inner corner, up on the brow bone, so I will definitely be giving that a shot and I will be taking this with me for sure. Um, the only thing out of that set that I didn't like is this lip gloss and this set was $45. Let's go into the next one. I bought this only because of the bag. Yeah, the products inside are okay, but I bought it because of the holographic bag. So this is the Glow For It kit. This is gonna have artist Couture, Benefit, Cover Effects, Fenty Beauty, and Milk Makeup in it. And um, they're all going to be highlighting products. This is the cutest bag I've ever seen. The first thing in here is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Starstruck. I love these little mini sticks. They're so cute. It's just going to be a little highlighter. There we go, there's some shine. That's really pretty. Definitely gonna take that. If these were all full size products, my bag would be a million pounds because I would still take them all. The next thing I have in here, oh, is open, that's good. This is the Milk Makeup Luminous Blur Stick. This is gonna be like a mini primer stick. I probably won't end up taking this with me just because I don't know how usable this is gonna be for me, but I will test it out before I go and uh, we'll see. I don't really need blurring all that much, but this is really cute. I really like the packaging, it's super small. Next, next I have the Benefit High Beam. This is just like a classic highlighting product. I have tried this a couple times. It's not my favorite thing in the world. I do enjoy powders a little bit more, but in a pinch, if I'm just doing like a no makeup, this is gonna be a product that I'll use. Same thing with this. These are the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And this one is in Moonlight. It's just a teeny, teeny, tiny little highlight dropper bottle. Don't know how much I'll use this, uh, but it's gonna come in handy, I'm sure. And then I got another Artist Couture um, little highlighting powder, and this one is in Illuminati. So this will be a different color. Um, I'm excited to try that. It does look like it's gonna be a little dark for me, but I think that I can use it as eyeshadow. That is it for the gift sets. Let's get into um, everything else, I guess. I really have no idea how to get through the rest of this bag. Let's see. The first thing I have in here is the Great Brow Basics. This is from Benefit. This is gonna have the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, the Precisely My Brow, and the Gimme Brow. My my two favorite brow products of all time are the Precisely My Brow and the Gimme Brow, but it comes in this super cute little pencil box, which I can reuse for something. And then when you open it up, it's got this another little placard in here. And this little placard, it gives you tips on how to fill in your brows with this kit, which is great if you don't have a brow routine. Uh, I do, so I'm not really too concerned about it, but then you have three full-size brow products in here. I think if you can get any of the Benefit brow products in a set like this, you're gonna be saving some money. Um, so highly suggest getting this kit if you're brand new to brows. If you aren't, um, I think this is gonna be a really good kit for a lot of people. I got a, another roller lash because mine is getting crusty. I have another one in here somewhere don't have a clue where. And then I have this mini tiny, tiny gimme brow that I got as a sample. I don't know why, but I got it and it's in my shade. So I'm very excited about that. Um, but you can see it's just so super small, but I'm very excited to have that. I'm gonna add that to my minis bag. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh wait, yeah. So this is the mini roller lash. I got this to go um, in my travel bag as well. Literally just a roller lash. It's just less than half the size for half the cost. I saw another benefit thing in here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Ah. This is a travel size, precisely my brow pencil. I wanted to get a travel size too because the full size one is just too long. That's what she said. The mini size is I think gonna be perfect for me. I'm not gonna use it a ton and I don't have to worry about it not fitting into any of my bags because that's 
a current problem that I have with the full size one. It doesn't fit in anything. Next brand is Too Faced. I got the Too Faced Hangover RX primer because I was out. Next product from Too Faced is the Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I wanted to try this out. I got it in the shade Swan. I don't know if that is gonna be too dark for me uh, or maybe even too light for me. That looks really light, uh, so. I'm gonna test it out. If it's too light, I'll go get a different shade. Okay, next brand, Natasha Denona. I got one, two, three things from Natasha Denona. So this first little thing is the mini bronze highlighting and glow powder. So this is a bronzer and a highlighter. I know that I already got one in the little Fenty, or well, the first glow kit. You're looking for food? So this is the mini Natasha Denona, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Again, there's just a bronzer and a highlighter. They're both really pretty shades. The bronzer is really kind of red, so I don't know how that's gonna go for me, um, but hopefully I like it. And I just thought this would be a really good alternative to my two full-size products that I would have had to bring in the place of that. Then I got two of the mini Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. Um, these were $25 each, so they're not the most cheap thing. I think if you're gonna downsize your makeup, it needs to be higher quality. So that's my reasoning for purchasing $50 worth of eyeshadows and only getting 10 very small ones. So I got the mini sunset palette and let me open that up. It's just got really pretty neutral colors. And then I got the mini star palette. And this one is definitely one that I am favoring. It's got a really pretty green in there. And then your other neutrals as well. Um, that gold is kind of killing me on the end. Love that. Next. We're just gonna start reaching for boxes now. I bought the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer because everyone was saying that it was making their makeup last forever. I'm about to go to Florida. Don't know if you know anything about Florida, but it's freaking hot there and sticky and gross. So I'm gonna sweat like a pig. I am taking this with me to hopefully keep my makeup on a little bit longer. I'm also gonna be talking to a lot of people and I'm hoping that it keeps my frown lines from creasing um, from the, the forehead from being like, you know, disgusting. Um, so I'm excited to test that out on my trip. Hopefully it goes okay and we'll see. Okay, the next thing I got from Milk Makeup, this is just the cooling water stick. It was broken when I got it. If your little minis are not winding up, press down on it a little bit. It just needs to get locked back into position and then it'll go up and down as you need it to. I really like this. I put it under my eyes whenever I'm just feeling kind of eh. I put it like right in the middle of my forehead if I'm getting a little bit of a headache. Really like this. I wouldn't buy the full size, but these minis are really good to have. <sighs> Um, travel essential Evian spray. I brought the Mario Badescu sprays on my last like long flight to Louisiana. Big mistake, it leaked all in my bag because they're not leak proof and they're fragranced and it bothered the lady that was sitting next to me on this next, the next two trips that I'm going on, I'm going with people that I know, so I don't really care if they get super bothered, but when I bother a stranger, it bothers me more. Don't know if that makes sense. This Evian spray is just water. So you throw it in your bag, you spray it on your face whenever you're feeling a little dry. If you, the person next to you gets it on them, it's just water. There's no allergies or anything that can have to it unless they're H2O intolerant. I love this stuff. I have the large one in my beauty room and I use it to wet down beauty blenders. If I'm just feeling bored and extra, I'm just gonna spray it all over my face. Um, these are super like cooling, so you could just sit there and depuff your eyes if you want to in the morning. Love these, everyone needs these. Mm, whoa. The next thing I got is a travel size uh, toothpaste. That's it, toothpaste. I've been wanting to try this Marvis toothpaste because everybody says that it's really good and it's like kind of bougie. Um, so I got the mint flavor. Yeah, the classic strong mint. And it's just a cute little tube of toothpaste. So that's gonna go in my travel bag and live there. All the rest of this is samples. Like, 
all samples. I can't even, the first sample I got and the one I'm most excited about is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. You can't see it because it's white and this light is really bright. So it's literally just a tiny, tiny Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base going straight into my bag. Absolutely gonna use it every single day that I'm on my trip. I don't know when it stopped recording but we're just gonna start from the foundation. <laughs> Great! This is a, just a tiny little sample of the foundation. I got the lightest shade that was available. It's definitely way too dark for me, but I can probably mix that with some of this really white stuff and balance it out. Yeah, that is way dark. Whoa. The next thing in here is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer. And this says it's got 24 hour wear. It's just a little sample. Again, probably too dark for me, but I feel like this is gonna be really good for uh, my under eyes and any acne spots that I get. This is the Obagi Clinical Kinetin Hydrating Cream. I get super dry on the airplane. So does everyone on the planet that ever has flown. So I thought this would be a really just good base cream to put on under my eyes after I do a face mask of some kind because those are definitely going to be in my travel bag. It says apply one to two pumps of Kinetin hydrating cream to the face and neck twice daily avoiding the eye area. Well guess I won't be putting that on my eyes. Dang it. That's all I got it for. Next this is the Laneige water sleeping mask. I use this all the time. I have the full size right next to my bed. It's my, probably my favorite mask to use at night. So this is absolutely going straight into my bag and never coming out until I run out. The next thing in here is the Bosha Cactus Water Moisturizer. I was excited to try this because I know that I'm gonna run out of the Laneige one really quick. The next stuff that I got was just part of a kit that I already opened um, because I was too excited and it was taking up too much room. So I used my points and I got this fresh rose box. So um, this little set came with the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream, which is probably gonna go in like my retainer bag for whenever I'm traveling more. I think I have enough cream for this trip. Uh, then I have the rose face mask. This has real rose petals in it and this is a really good toning mask. Hey, Bubba, no squeaking. The next thing in here is the soy face cleanser. I used to use this all the time. I have really bad allergies ever since I moved to California. I don't know what it is, but sometimes my eyes will swell shut and they'll get crusty and the skin around them will get super dry and it's it's really disgusting. This stuff saved my eye one time, I swear. It was so scabbed, I thought it was gonna scar. I thought my eye wasn't gonna open all the way the rest of the way, like the whole time that this was happening. I washed my face with this stuff one day. It took all of the crusty stuff off, don't know how it did it, and my skin was perfect underneath. Eventually it did start breaking me out just because that's how my skin works but I think using this to travel just every now and then is a really really good just base face cleanser and the last part of that kit was the sugar lip balm in rosé and I've never used this before but I'm excited to just throw it in my bag this is just a really light pink oh my god what the heck oh you have to twist it off that that's smart. It's just a really pretty light pink lip balm. Um, actually, I'm gonna try it now. Oh, it smells really good, like rose. Oh, it gives me a little bit of color, but not a ton. Okay, it kind of gives me a ton of color. I can just use this on the plane. Give me a little bit of color whenever I'm coming off the plane because I probably won't be wearing makeup. So this is gonna go straight into my travel bag. These are all gonna go in my retainer bag. Oh, this I did purchase. Um, this is not a sample. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I was out of the shade that I usually use, which is vanilla. And this is my favorite concealer of all time. And I will never stop using this. The last things I have in here are all blister packets. I have two of the Origins Clear Improvement uh, charcoal masks. These are, one's going to go in my travel bag immediately. These are great for spot treatments and I know I'm going to get a breakout. One's going to go in my retainer bag. The next thing I have is the Coors Foaming Cream Cleanser for all skin types. This is the Greek yogurt one. This is going to go straight into my retainer bag. And then I got the Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. This is, um, Drunk Elephants, 
new uh, SPF product and then a virgin marula luxury facial oil. Yeah, that's it. That's all that I had in this bag. That's it. The only thing that I am not keeping is this lip balm and that's gonna go to a friend because I know that she's gonna use it. I just hate lip gloss. It's the bane of my existence. This is a big pile of trash. This is a very small pile of things that I'm <laughs> keeping that I actually got out of this haul. I would probably say I spent too much um, I'll put the actual number in the title so that I don't get broken up with right now. <laughs> um, boogie! Shh! I know I've been gone for quite a while. Um, I do have other Disney videos. I've just been super busy with work and recitals and stuff like that. But I will have a lot more stuff coming. I know I say that. I still have to film a packing video. I have my Amazon packing favorite. Fervor, 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 fervor. favorites video that I'm gonna do. So yeah, all those fun things are all coming. I have a lot of traveling coming up, so get ready. Um, let me get a thumbnail. Okay, that's, that's all I got. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye. Uh.